Hello Trinity family and friends. Welcome to our first Lenten monologue drama. Each Wednesday we'll be releasing a new drama featuring one of the artisans who made an item that was present during the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. This first week we hear from a tanner, a leather worker. This tanner um, that we hear from tonight made the whip that the Roman soldier used to flog Jesus. Next week we hear from a basket maker who helped the soldiers uh, to weave the crown of thorns that they um, made Jesus wear. And then a blacksmith will tell us his story, then a carpenter, and then the last uh, week we'll, um, we'll hear from a stonemason who uh, chiseled the big stone that they rolled in front of the grave. Before I play tonight's uh, testimony of the tanner, please listen to a poem that was written about this event. This poem is called, This Little Swatch of Leather. This little swatch of leather I hold here in my hand reminds me of the agony our Lord did withstand. It reminds me of the whip by which stripes he did bear for my brokenness and sin, though I wasn't even there. I'm reminded that his wounds are reaching into my soul where they heal me and cleanse me so once more I can be whole. His humble blood, I am reminded, by the flogging was spilled, for our lives so empty are needing to be filled. By a love so unswerving, through pain and in death, of the hope in believing in Jesus I'll find rest. Of the joy in knowing that a Savior did come, is coming, will come, to restore us as one with our God, our Creator. So this little swatch of leather I hold here in my hand reminds me that Christ loves like none other can. And now, here's the tanner. Hey, welcome. I'm Malachi. I am the uh, local uh, tanner, the leather worker in, uh, in Jerusalem. Sure has been busy. Did you see that Roman guard that was in such a big hurry leaving just as you came in? I don't know what he was in such a big hurry for, but he came in and he wanted me to make one of my extra special whips for him that had to be done right now. Something about some Jesse or Jesus or uh, G Jesus. That was the guy's name, Jesus. Uh, been going around making trouble all over Jerusalem the last few days, from what they uh, from what they tell me. He's claiming to be some kind of a Messiah or the the King of the Jews or something, and uh, for that they're wanting one of my special whips. Now I usually make a whip something like this, but my special ones, if you can see this, uh, this one's got an uh, animal claw tied to the end of it. I make other ones that have as many as five different ends on it, and I can have bird talons, bird claw, animal claws, sometimes I, I sharpen stones and have them tied to the end. The purpose of these whips, these special whips, is to cause as much torture and pain as possible. When this, when this claw hits the back of the person, it tears the flesh right off the back. I feel sorry for whoever's on the wrong end of one of my whips. It's not the only thing I make though. Usually I'm taking care of bigger hides like this. My younger days, I used to I used to be a tent maker. I think you might have heard somebody else uh, pretty famous uh, around these parts that uh, was a tent maker. His name used to be Saul, and then he changed it to Paul for some reason. But uh, he, he goes around making a lot of tents and earns his money that way. And it's just too hard for me when I got a little bit older. So I, I make smaller things now. I make little, uh, 
little um, hinges for people's doors for their homes and I make uh, I make whips usually this is to keep the wolves away sometimes I make these bigger ones this is for the shepherds out in the field making uh, making sure they can keep the sheep safe but this one this is my special whip I'm not sure what Jesus this Jesus did that was so bad that it would cause him to cause him to want to give him the treatment with one of my special whips but you know he had a chance to change change his story they gave him plenty of chances in fact uh, I heard that all the all that crowd that was with him last Sunday when they came into Jerusalem they were all shouting praises to him and then as soon as the, 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 the situation changed and, uh, and they were going to look for him to arrest him. Boy, all those people, they just abandoned him and they, they fled away. Except for a few. There was, there was some that were left there. There's, they were all, thing is, they were all weak, weaklings. They were all uh, weeping women and, 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 and there was nobody there to really defend him. Of course, he didn't ask anybody to defend him either. I heard one of his uh, closest friends cut off the ear of of one of uh, of one of the slaves of the high priest, and and just Jesus went over there and healed him right there on the spot. He had plenty of chances where he could have just said, "I I didn't really mean it. I'm not the Messiah. I'm not the Son of God. I'm not the King of the Jews." He had misunderstood, but he's not backing down. He's he's either who he says he is. Or he's plumb out of his mind. Now I know what you're thinking too. You're thinking that I'm part of it because I made that whip. And I got to tell you, I I do feel some guilt over that, but it's my job. And if I didn't make the whip when the Roman soldiers wanted it, why they would have used their their spear or one of their other whips on me. And so I just do my job. Just make the whip. And I hope that he can forgive me. He must have been really sure of what uh, of what he is. You know, if I was going to follow somebody like those women and, and those weakling men, you know, you'd have to be really sure that he said he is who he says he is. The son of God? How can he be how can anybody claim to be the son of God? Except, of course, for Caesar. But this Jesus, he's going through with it. I heard today they were going to give him 39 lashes with one of my whips. You know, nobody's ever had 40 lashes and lived. So 39 lashes. That would be about the end of him. I heard the crowd outside calling for Pontius Pilate crucify him being tortured and flogged with one of these whips would be enough but then to be crucified afterwards that's almost more than anyone should get for the worst punishment let alone just claiming to be a king what harm is there in that sure wish these whips could be used for good instead of such such evil and I hope God will forgive me